Since the first Galaxy Note was released back in October 2011, Samsung has established its Note lineup as the big size phone king in the industry, influencing the size of our phones to be bigger across all sizes. Skipping the Note 6 naming system, will the Note 7 prove to be the big phone king and the flagship juggernaut of them all? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is your host Ben on the LOT channel and today I'm going to be bringing you the hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. So here are the key specs of the handset. The Note 7 has been given the IP68 protection against dust and water. At the front, you will find the Note 7 is rocking a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1440 resolution display with a pixel density of 518 ppi. You will find a physical home button which also doubles as a fingerprint scanner where on the right and the left side of the phone sits the capacitive touch back and options button a 5 megapixel front facing camera sensor with f1.7 aperture and also iris recognition camera to the top right on the right side of the phone sits the power button and on the left side of the phone sits the volume rocker at the bottom you'll find located the s pen speaker grill microphone reversible usb type c connector and also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top of the phone sits the SIM card tray slash micro SD card tray for up to 256 gigabytes storage expandability and also a noise cancelling microphone. Finally, at the rear, you find a primary camera which has a 12 megapixel dual pixel camera sensor for fast autofocusing and tracking with an f1.7 aperture, OAS for stable camera shots and recording with a single tone LED flash and also, last but not least, the heart rate sensor. The internals of the phone you will find an Exynos 8890 octa-core based processor with 4GB of RAM, 64GB of base internal storage and also a 3500mAh battery with fast charging enabled. Now with the profile of the phone sports a dual edge design at both the front and the rear with identical curved symmetry, giving 7.9mm in thickness to the phone. The design of the Note 7 gives a feeling of a no bezel front display and also gives a narrower and a more comfortable fit in the hand for a phone of its size. Overall, the initial design impressions of the Note 7 are clean and definitely aesthetically pleasing. Arguably, this is the best design phone in-house from Samsung, even almost as far as saying one of the best design phones, period. On the software side, the Note 7 is running Android 6.0.1 with Samsung's own Grace user experience design for the Note 7. Now, based on my initial hands-on with the Note 7, I have to say this is so far the nicest fitting big phone in my hand I've ever used. The dual curve design makes the phone to have an all glass wraparound feeling in the hand which in my opinion gives such a unique feeling to the phone which no other big phone has ever had when I've used it. Using new generation Gorilla Glass 5 and 7000 series aluminium frame, Samsung has pushed the envelope in design, function and also aesthetics of the phone. As this is just an initial hands on and preview, I'm going to be putting the Note 7 through its paces to give you a full review on how the phone performs and also my verdict on whether this phone is still the big phone king and whether it's still worth having to purchase. But so far, having to use the phone on my initial hands on review, I have to say that things are looking very strong for Samsung at the moment. Anyways, this is just a quick hands on review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. I'll be putting this through my paces as I've said before and I'm going to be giving you the full review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 in all its glory from the software features, how the phone performs and also the camera performance as well as the audio performance as well. So stay tuned, this is your host Ben on the LOT channel, signing out.